Ryan in Melbourne, Australia writes, and he says, Paul, I have tried changes to speaker positioning and my seating position, which offer only minor improvements as it pertains to bass. While room treatment or adding subwoofers is a possible solution, uh, my question is, can the bass problem in my listening position, and he's got too much bass in his listening position, be improved or changed by replacing my speakers? Or is the standing wave problem more consistent with the room acoustics? Can I find a speaker to win the battle, or will the physics of the room deliver the same problem? Yeah, unfortunately, Ryan, it's the latter. You can't beat physics. It just is the way it is. So the only difference you could get with a different pair of speakers, I mean, and I'm using this in the broadest sense, is that they don't have the same frequency response, but that would mean that you're not getting as much bass, and that's, that's, not, a, that's not a good solution. If you're getting big bumps in the bass or you're getting big suckouts in the bass due to standing waves, really you have to deal with the physics of the problem, which is, of course, the room. So standing waves are <clears throat> what usually in corners when, when big low frequency waveforms get propagated from your speaker. They bunch up against the walls, they bunch up in the corners, and they collect up there, which is why they're called standing waves, and then they come back. And when they're out of phase, and you get a collision of an in-phase and an out-of-phase wave, they cancel. When you get uh, the opposite, where they're in phase, they add and you get these big booms. I mean, you, if you look at a typical frequency response within a room, it's all over the map when it comes to low frequencies. So changing your speakers is definitely not going to get you where you want to go. You need to deal with the room. Now, subwoofers and speaker placement can solve a lot of it, even if you don't have the wherewithal to deal with the standing waves in the room. It's kind of what we do at PS Audio. So in our room, we have a subwoofer that fills in the gaps, and it's over in the back of the room, and our seating position and our main speaker placement is very carefully chosen by ear, eh, a little bit with Chris and his, his magic uh, measurement system, but we get it to where we have the smoothest bass response possible within that room, and that, again, is speaker position and listening position. And, and I go all through this with the Audiophiles Guide, which is the, the book and the, the CD you know, that I put out. And, and if you have a chance, get the, grab a copy of the Audiophiles Guide, Amazon, psaudio.com, wherever you want. And it explains a lot of this and kind of takes you through step by step to how to get rid of this problem. So you get the smoothest response you can, and that inevitably is going to have some suckouts some areas where when you hit the bass note, you just don't get it. And that's where your subwoofer, which can be placed differently so that in conjunction with where you're sitting, that separately placed subwoofer fills in those areas. So, hope that helps. Good luck with that. Thanks.